Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Thanks for tuning in to the Dove Vision Experience Podcast. This time, this week, I'm actually on the road. We're doing a virtual tour. I want to welcome in the Bay Area native, my guy, Wallace. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's happening? Yeah, yeah. So he's going to actually um, do it with me this week. going to chop it up. We're going to talk about a few things that's going on, talk about this basketball, talk about the, some of these worldly things that's been going on, this coronavirus, COVID-19, is Rona. You know, we're going to see how, how how you feel about it and just kind of help your boy out this week, man. You know, I've been doing it on my own solo dolo for a couple of weeks. I kind of wanted to bring somebody in, get my feet under myself first. But now yes, sir. when I'm in here with me, we can chop it up and see how things going. You, As you can see, he's a, a avid He's a, a a Warriors fan, die hard. All yes, the sir. Uh, I ain't got no hate for the Warriors. Lakers <laughs> fan, all. You know what I mean, you know, go back to the We Believe team. You know, that's how we we Mississippians have used to love that team. Now, you know, come you, on, man. We put y'all Mississippi boys on the map with Monte, man. Yeah, I already. You know, Monte come out there and shoot that thing, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Had to give it up for Steph, though. You know what I'm saying? They it's like, hey, we got to move on. This guy here, Monte, ain't gonna take us nowhere. He'll score fifty, but we gonna lose. Hey, you know, hey, we got love for Monte, man. Monte was a dog, man. Monte was a dog, man. We, you know, we got love. He came out here, man, did his thing. We put him on this Bay Area, you know, town business for real. And then, uh, you know, it was time. It was time for us to make that decision, you know. And I'm, I ain't gonna lie, man. I wanted to keep Monte, you know. I, hey, that's why I'm not a GM, man. Cause Steph would have been gone, and now I'd have been sitting here like, damn. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> We ran him off. The Lakers, Lakers Nation ran him off. I don't know why he came out. He came on up here to the North Bay and said, "You guys, you know, <laughs> I almost the clay." Who, who you say? Uh, Jerry West. Oh, come, hey man, hey man, Jerry West. Hey, he seen it. He seen it. He seen it. He's like, look, you got them two light skinned boys they out there in the Bay. They in the town. So you know what I mean. And then they got Draymond. You know, we gotta have one dark skinned dude on there. You know, he gonna be the muscle. You know what I mean? Yeah, Jerry West had to say y'all from y'all. Because y'all still would have been on the bottom looking up one for Jerry West. So shout out Jerry West. Nah, nah. We'll make things happen for y'all, man. Hey, sh- yeah, shout out Jerry West, man. He tried to go over there with the Clippers, man. Um, brought in Kawhi and Paul and Paul George, but you know, it's still Dub Nation, man. I ain't messing. I ain't messing with none of them. Them Clippers, Lakers, Kings, none of them. You know what I mean? And on that tip, man, how you feel about them? Uh, you know, I've been seeing some of the memes, some of the rumors been floating around where they may be starting back the NBA and calling up some of the guys and seeing how they feel. They want to play. You know, yeah. I think there's uh, – what do you, how you feel about it, man? I kind of feel like the season might be a waste. You know, it won't be a true champion, man. You go from playing 82, da- 82 games, then you get cut off and you play 50, 60 games, and then next thing you know, you know, the season over with. You know, your boy Gobert in Utah come out playing around. Then next thing you know, he get that Rona. Hey. Shut the whole season down. I told you, I, I be I be telling cast the the, the the brothers from 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 overseas, man. I be telling y'all about them. Say so y'all gotta watch them, the brothers from overseas. They uh, <laughs> nah, just messing around. But uh, on the real man, um, I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, playing the game. I mean, they're professionals, right? So they should they should be able to jump right back in. They they get paid millions of dollars to to play that play that game, which is their job, right? But uh. I don't know, man. Uh, it's I think it would be kind of hard to – if you're a player, right, to get up for the game, you have no fans. I mean, it's going to – I mean, the love for the competition is going to be there, right? No matter. True. Just like, just like the stories we're hearing about the 92 Dream Team, right? Nobody in the crowd but the competition was still at a high level, right? So, competition still will be there, but it's just sometimes, you know, when you get those runs – you know, just like with the Warriors, you know, the team of the decade, you get those runs, then Oracle get the going. Hey, that's when they put they, they you know what I mean, they put their foot in foot on their neck. You know what I mean? That crowd is that crowd is there. So you definitely need that crowd noise, man, because when you ain't got that crowd, they gotta maybe pump some pump some sounds in there, pump some music in there, do something, man. Cause just hearing the ball hitting the floor, that, that ain't gonna be enough. You know what I'm saying? They'll they'll you'll feel like you're watching a high school game or you're out in the park or something like that. You know, the competition level going. It's going to be high. Some guys right. going to be sloppy. You know, some of them working out. Some of them not. You know, the superior athletes probably working out. You know, the guys, the, the six, seven, eight, nine guy on the bench, he probably would not really working out as hard as he probably would have if the season was going on. Everybody was locked and loaded. You know, the Lakers, yeah. don't, you know, so they was on the roll. They were putting their foot on, they were putting their foot on the league, Nick. For Come on, Lakers, Lakers were not do nothing, but yeah. I was saying they putting their neck, they putting their foot on the, on the league net for a hot minute, man. And then, you know what I'm saying, they gotta, all of a sudden you just shut it down. And you're trying to get it back going two, three months later. And in the middle of mm-hmm. June, 
that's pretty much like right when the the uh, the finals will be maybe going on. So you still got a season to finish, and then you got to right. around and try to play. Of you know, Dave, not David Stern, but um, Silver. Silver. He trying to play the the whole finish the season and then try to play seven game series, but that's gonna be a, like a that's gonna be a, a, a toll for the guys to just yeah I'm cold turkey you know come from not doing nothing in your backyard playing horse to right. playing full NBA professional basketball against superior athletes the next day no warm ups just say hey go finish those twenty five games y'all had and now let's get back and let's get back to the playoffs where. You know, even though if they do get back to the season and you crown somebody, I don't think it's going to be a legitimate crown because it, it'll nah, be like it's an asterisk. It's an asterisk. Actually, it'll almost be like that shortened season in the moment, but you know, down the road, it won't be looked at like that though. Because if you think about yeah. it, if we look back at that Spurs uh, ring that they got during their lockout season, we don't really like say, "Oh, that's an asterisk." We just say they just got the ring. We don't even the ring. ring. Right, right. Because Man, you, know, you know, we're thinking about it. Right. Man, but here's 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 another thing I just thought about, man. Um, so I don't know if you've been watching the UFC. So I've been watching the UFC. They 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 didn't have own pressure, you know. Yeah, that, man. And it's like, at first I was like, man, it's it's crazy. I think it's crazy. Um, you know, when they walk into the ring, you don't really get you don't really get that crowd. And then you got Bruce Buffer, and now right, he's going in, and that crowd is going crazy, right? But oh, let's go. Yeah, is let's go. So. But after that, after that, when they start fighting, when they really start getting into it, and it's like, and then you can, uh, it's a different experience, right? Because you can hear the coaches. Yeah. You can hear the coaches talking. You can hear the fighters talking to each other. Yeah. yeah. Man, and it's, and it's like, you can hear the punches, the kicks. Man. Oh, my goodness. You know what I'm saying? It just, you just hear. Yeah. You just hear. So it's like, maybe with no crowd, we'll get a different experience as fans. Like, yo, you can hear them talking. A you know, screen pick up, you know, what the hell are you doing out there? Uh yeah. Curry Curry step back on the Lakers, bop, you know what I mean? Ain't no step back right now, bro. Y'all got the first pick in the draft. That's what y'all hey, hey we about to re up. This season's a wash. It's your wash. Warriors gonna be in the final six straight season. Watch this season, man. man. Warriors is good for the NBA. Man, good for the NBA. Yeah, man, them boys going deep in the playoffs like that year in and year out, man. That's a t- that's a toll on the body, man. You know, just watching those greats, them you know, like watching MJ and watching uh, Kobe and all them boys and Shaq, man. Them boys going to the playoffs. Even though if you don't win, you still playing an extra sixteen games. You playing all the way to June. Yeah. You know, you lose, you lose, lose the finals, then you got to turn around. You know, you probably off a couple of weeks, then you kind of right back at it. But man, but you do that year in and year out, man. That's just like a a full season right there in itself, just going deep yep. in the playoffs. So yep. you know, people don't really think about that, man. When you have all those miles on you from, you know, those you know, those deep runs in the playoff, you know, you go to the playoff, you get kicked out in the first round this year, and you might not go back for three years because you got traded two, three times, and there's no real big deal. But if you like a contender, like, you know, something like the Warriors, yeah. them boys put miles on the body, man. You know, them bodies was bound to, bound to break down, you know. And they ain't the biggest. They ain't the biggest of guys. I mean, keep it real. You know, Curry ain't big. Clay ain't big. I mean, I, the guy. I know they – they got nutritionists and they eating and they working out, but still, man, you just putting a lot of flicks on the body and that hardwood, man. Yeah, bro, you bang every time a lot. I don't even play no eighty-two game. I go out in the park and play a day or two, man. I'm man, this this for the bird, bro. Uh, man, a day or two. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give you an hour or two, and bro. I'm like, hey, man, I'm good. Man, I ain't for that. Up and then they be open. We just playing half court. They up and down the court. Night in and night out, three, four days a day, three, four days a week, they out there hooping. Get knocked down, flying. all that. I'm saying, you don't think about it, you got to do all that flying and all that type of stuff like that. So, you know, it's, it's a big thing. So, you know, I know you've been watching this last dance and we up to what, what episodes? We just we just had seven or eight kind of conversations. So, yeah, this will be nine and ten right here. We got about to, about to round it off with ten episodes, man. So, up to now, you know, how you been feeling about the documentary? What years hey, man. You think they've been doing a good job with it? How you feel about it? Man, I did. I think they're doing a real good job, man. I mean, like you've been, like I've been hearing, you know, you get to see a lot of what behind the scenes that we didn't get to see, right? So with social media and all this stuff now, we get to see a lot more of the players, right? A lot more behind the scenes and stuff they think, you know, they get on Twitter, they say a little stuff, but, you know, when we grew up, the generation, you know I mean? The era we, we grew up watching, we didn't get that, you know what I mean? So now you, you're able to see this. So I'm like, man, this, this, it's man to me. It's great, you know. As a, cause I'm not. I I never been. George never been my guy. You know, being for the Bay, you know, I was a Warrior guy. Tim Hardaway was my guy. So, um, 
but I always, you know, Jordan the GOAT. So it was like, you're always like, man, this dude, this dude nice, man. Like, yeah, yeah. damn. Every time he came to the to Golden State, he used to give us some lashes. I'm like, damn. And yeah. like, you knew it was an L. Like, oh, it's Jordan. He, he getting the league that work it night in and night out. He playing the two games. He getting it to you. No night off. You know, just no hearing, night off. Just hearing these, these wild stories, man. Just seeing, you know, watching the documentary. Of course, you've been hearing these rumors, but nothing. He's, he's Westbrook winning. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You never, you, you hear these stories. <laughs> These wild stories about Jordan, these rumors over time, but you never really hear nobody like come out and say, Oh, this is actually happening. This is all just more yeah. or less like rumors. Nobody to confirm them. Yeah, but you know, watching this, watching the documentary and just seeing how like anything just light a fuse under him and make him play. Like it, it's yeah. wild how you know somebody can like George Carr, they going out, they going out to dinner, and then he's sitting across the room from him. Jordan see him, he see Jordan. Carr get up and walk out the out the restaurant, don't say nothing to mm -hmm. him. And then that he just lit up for the next game. He ready to go because Joel called and say didn't say nothing to him. The guy, he wild, bro. Like wow, he, that boy. And they said he lied. What he lied on dude from the Wizards? Oh my goodness! Yeah, said he said. I'm like, and then George say, man, he didn't say nothing. Like, come on, man, why you do that, man, like that, man? <laughs> why you why you do that, boy, like that? Hey, Jordan, a wild boy, man. You know, from the gambling, from everything. Hey, Jordan around here betting the, betting the jockeys. He betting the, the, the equipment manager, the caddies. Man. He betting $20, $40. guy don't care, man. That boy, a wild boy, man. Hey, man, when you make the when you make the threes, the fours, the limbs, the limbs, the Jordan, the patent leathers. Man. Hey, man. Money ain't money anything. That, hey, he like, look, man, what you, what you, what you want to bet my, my Ferrari? Because I can go get another one tomorrow. Back. Can you? If you lose, will you go be able to go get another? Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, bro. The boy, wow, man. You know he out there showing documentary. He in here flipping quarters in the in the locker room. You know that's some stuff we used to do in junior high. You know we going there flipping quarters. We flipping for dollars and three dollars or five dollars here, ten dollars there. Man, he in there flipping for flipping the cat, flipping the um the bodyguard for twenty dollars. Like, bro, what's up? You really you out here you out here playing against the bodyguard man for twenty dollars? And your four, my four to your one. Come on, man. Bro, he he wild. <laughs> like, come on, Jim J. A hey, hey, guy, he's a different, he's a different beast. I guess because, you know, during that time, he really wasn't drinking. He wasn't smoking. Probably wasn't just chasing a whole lot of women. All he was doing, just like, get that house from off the court with Charlie, just gambling. Like, hey. Come on, man. No, no, let's keep it 100. Let's keep it 100. Jordan, now maybe maybe at first, right, Jordan wasn't, because they say, you know, what was it, uh, uh, episode one, he walked into the room. Younger years, he probably wasn't out there in them streets, but as he became, but when he came, Jordan, you think he wasn't out there? He was out there dibbling, dabbling. But them early years, you know what I'm saying, he was just like probably to himself. Little country boy, don't really know nothing about that. Because like, you remember, you said he came in the league. The league was old, so he was he was kind of young. He was young. Yeah. He was pretty much old. So I can imagine a lot of them going out, getting in the clubs, and doing all the things. Like you said, they doing coke and all that crazy stuff. So he probably I'm glad Jordan didn't stop doing what he was doing if he was partying. Look what <laughs> happened to Tiger Woods. As soon as Tiger Woods stopped doing this thing, he wasn't Tiger Woods no more. So if you would have been like, hey, Jordan, you got to stop. You know what I mean? You got to stop gambling. You got to stop being in the clubs. You got to stop. Man, you wouldn't have get that double nickel at the guard. You might not have got that double nickel. You know what I mean? Right. And uh, doing all that stuff, man, going and trying to win, pushing those guys and leading those guys. You know, they've been talking about how Jordan, you know, more or less like a bully or leadership. How you feel about that? Like, what, what, are, what, are, your, what are your feelings about how him being labeled as a bully you know, during those times, trying to push those guys for that ring. Man, look, they said that man was a bully. If he was a bully, look, I ain't going to call no other grown man, no, out their name, right? But if Jordan was a bully, what was some other dudes? Because we all know with a bully, you got to stand up to the bully or you're going to get bullied all the time. So it's like if, if, if they sat there and allowed Jordan to bully him, first off, that's on them. Like, hey, man. You, you you must hey you 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 yeah. traded your manhood I guess for winning rings being beside Jordan getting that extra dough because you was going to the playoffs going to the championships maybe getting some endorsements because of Jordan getting that dough and now you want to talk now these people want to be like hey, Jordan was a bully Steve Kerr wouldn't have been the coach of the Warriors if he didn't get them rings with Jordan back and we getting punched in the eye he wouldn't have got he would the I highly doubt price you got a price to pay when you want to be around greatness like that man like. But you know, I ain't finna let them bully me. But we gon' we gon' have to go toe to toe. But if they couldn't handle it from Jordan, imagine if Oakley was still on the team. You know how you slapping Scotty around. You know, imagine if Oakley was doing them runs, and he was really out there 
like really giving it to him. You know, no, um, like you said, nobody said nothing to Oakley. And, and we seen on tape, he slapped Pippen in the face. Come all in the face. Probably you can oh, imagine what you're doing when the camera won around. So if they couldn't handle it from Jordan, they definitely wouldn't they be able to handle it for Oakley. The man. Oakley probably was, was giving it to him when them camera went around. Boy, because he mm. slapped. He slapped when he slapped Pippen. Pippen was like, it's like an everyday thing that was going on around. Man, Pippen didn't even think. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing back. Yeah, man. Yeah, so that's why I'm, I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that. They talking about the bully, man. Like that, man. Like if you don't stand up for yourself, you gonna just kind of continue to put pick on you, and he gonna bully you and, and say different things to you. But if you putting up them points and you getting it to him, and he trying to come back to you at, at practice, you know what I'm saying? That's where you earn your stripes at practice. You know what I mean? Like you gotta go at MJ. You know, like Kerr. I respect Kerr. You know. Kerr was like, look, man, I'd have had enough. Hey. You, you didn't put you, you I'd have had enough, bro. You're gonna get that's this a, that, work, bro. That's the only way that boy can uh, handle Draymond Green. He know I like, look, man. I, I, I punched the greatest in, in, in I, hey, we went hit toe to toe with the greatest. Draymond, we hey, look, you better watch it because I hey, I might haul off and fire on you. Keep you you better call KD a bitch. Don't call me no bitch. We're gonna be <laughs> For real, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I said I get I gotta get get Kurt that respect, man, because you know, everybody else would probably tuck in the tail and like just letting Jordan do what he do. So cause they win. You know, when you winning, everything kinda gets swept under the rug. But if they were losing, they'd be like, look, man, Jordan not here. He wilding, man. Jordan not here talking crazy. He talking sideways. We ain't winning. He just put up a lot of points and we ain't winning no ring. You know, they probably would have gave Jordan that work. You know what I'm saying? Instead, they running around the country, they they they, they High flying team, they on all the hot hot network TVs, and you know what I'm saying. Like I said, they getting probably getting endorsements off the deal. They getting and, let, and, and don't get don't get it don't got, get it. Or got their big boy contract from Orlando. You know, yeah. probably wouldn't got there. He probably wouldn't got that bread had he not been winning next to Jordan like that. So you know, it's always a price to pay. But are you willing to pay it? You know, for to be around greatness like that. Yeah, and and they tell and they telling you stuff that's going and they showing stuff that's going to be. You know, uh, great for me and you to watch people like me and you to watch. Like, yo, this look at Jordan, look what he did. But come on, man, Scott, Scott Burrell, Scott Burrell, know he was getting way. He might have been called a hoe and this, this, and that. But Scott Burrell probably Jordan was like, come on, bro, we about to go get the little, you know, what I mean, over here, Scott Burrell, come on, you know what I mean? So Scott Burrell, like, uh, you know, so they, put, oh man, a lot of filming, so a lot of it get cut out. You only see a little, yeah. bit. you only get to see a little. Horace Grant was like, man, he didn't let me eat, but Horace Grant probably was like, hey. Hey, Horace Grant, bro. Hey, you play like trash, but you know what we finna do when we get when we touch down and yeah. back in the sh- in Chicago, bro. <laughs> yeah. You know, just boy, like, look, man. You know, you see that guy right there. You see him? Yeah. He ain't eating tonight. He ain't. <laughs> Two point three rebound. He ain't, he ain't eating no plate. Don't get him no plate. He ain't hey, eat- Horace was probably hung over. He was like, Jordan, bro, what you tripping for? I was with you last night. That's why I only got two point three rebounds, man. You know what happened. You already know he probably was out golfing all day. They went to the casino half the night and then just got up and went and dropped 35 like it was nothing. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan was that dude. Like he was that he was that dude to where he can be like, you know, you don't you don't you, you only get those guys, you know, it's one in every every era, right? You know, we got Jordan and Kobe, you know, now Braun. Man, you get you get that one guy, you know. So yeah. Jordan was that guy, you know what I mean? And he was different. He was able to get away with that. He probably wouldn't have been like that in social media because they'd have been like, this dude, Jordan, wow. You know what I mean? Skip would have been killing Jordan. He wouldn't even been on social media, though. You know, MJ, no, he, he, probably, yeah. he probably wouldn't even been on social media. He probably been like, I don't even care. I'm going to keep doing me. I'm going to keep going to win these rings. Y'all just keep talking that sideways talk while I go get the ring, the championship. Uh, he, he probably would have. A young Jordan, once he got, once he, once he got to be Jordan, yeah. Skip, uh, Skip Bayless or uh, Shannon Sharp would have been talking that noise. That would be like he'd be like, okay, you know what I mean. He it, it might have been different because the media is much more on top of uh, players now. So he might have not been. Yeah, it's twenty four hours. You know, because I'm about to. I'm sure he had his. I'm sure he had people that were probably talking sideways back then. You know, just like they they put the article in the in the Sports Illustrated, just ticked them off. Like this guy just be taking any little thing to kind of get ticked off, bro. Like the guy yeah. with. The, but they told him, hey, nice game. He put up 36 on Jordan. So, Jordan, <laughs> hey, you can imagine, like, that was probably this guy, the game of his life. You know, he probably been watching Jordan for as long as he been watching basketball. And he finally get in the NBA, played against Jordan one night, and had a game in his life. He's like, hey, good game, Jordan. Nice game, Jordan. And Jordan, mm-hmm. like, what? Nice game. I nice really- game. 
you guys tonight. We play you guys tomorrow night. I'll see you tomorrow mm. night. And then he go drop 37 in the first half. Like first bro, half. The beast, man. Bro, if a, if a cat could come in there and tell you, if he call, if he call like I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna have what this dude have in the first half before the game, and he do it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Come on, man. Like hey, it's it's like I said, it's only it's only a certain certain cats that's that that's workout though, dog. He's getting them boy that that where that issue, boy. He go put a pumpkin head on you quick. 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 Quick, quick 30, 35 on you quick. Like yeah. it's nothing. You nothing. Yeah, you had KG was like came in there. I don't know if you heard the story when KG was woofing. He would tell him uh he came on the court, he was like, Hey, man, you can got Jordan. Go get him. Get him. You got him. He said, man, young boy, you don't know, man. That, you know what I'm saying? Just, just be quiet. Chill out, man. He said, Jordan heard him. Yeah. Boy, Jordan gave him. He said, man, KG said he was up and down the floor, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> so they were down. <laughs> so they were up 10. They think, you know, they down five, down two. Like, Jordan just could go out here and just work them boy quick like that, man. Like, he take any little challenge and just go, man. And then imagine him doing all that, winning all those rings, and then just stopping. He's like, hey, I'm done. I'm retired. You know what I'm saying? I'm moving on. Then he come feel, you know, he trying to, he got to keep the triangle offense going. He got cool coach and all those guys and Scotty finally step up and Rodman. And then, you know, you get to the playoff, you know, and then Rodman like, and he, he's like, hey, we got a game one and we finna go to cool coach. And, 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 and Pippen like, huh, what? I've been the man all year and you finna, you finna just let him get that? Hey. And then you go sit down, like what, what you, what you would have did? You know what I'm saying? Like, like as a teammate, like how you feel or what you would have done had he just not said, hey, look, I'm not even going back out. Phil, come on and talk to you. You going, you going in? He's like, nah, man, I ain't going in. In the playoff game, like, what would you say? <sighs> teammate, bro? Hey, as a teammate, yeah. I'd be like, come on, bro. You're going gonna, you gonna, you gonna, you gonna to play us like that. Like, you're supposed to be the guy. You go sit on the bench. You know what I mean? You know, after the fact, yeah, we we say that, right? And, and I probably would have felt like that in the moment as well. Um, but Phil, what's wrong for that? Everybody talking about Pippen. Phil was wrong for that too. Like, come on, man. Just say it was the other way around. Just say Pippen was like, "Hey, I'm retiring." Man, you everybody, everybody named Mama know Jordan would have took that shot. Everybody know if Jordan, if it was the dream team that was out there, Jordan still was going. He was going to call that play up for Jordan. So I'm like, they say this dude is arguably the second best player in the league when Jordan was there. So now Jordan is gone. So the, you talking about arguably the best player in the league, right? Yeah, possibly during that time, maybe because you because you got what Bird and Magic got pretty much rolled on out the league, and you what you got Drexler probably hanging on Charles Barkley, who else doing it? You know, a couple of those. Yeah, guys. Patrick Ewing. You know, he got you know he was up there. He was top five in the league when Jordan left. You could say he probably top five, top ten, top ten player. But you got to think about two play double advocate. Uh, advocate. You had a uh, cool coach who came in and dropped six game winners that season. So, you know, I'm as a, as the coach, I'm, I'm feeling I'm like I got a guy who's proven to drop. He already dropped six game winners for me. Like I'm going to him. You know, Scotty, you do your, you know what I'm saying? I respect you and I, I give I give you all the accolation that you could possibly have, but you ain't hitting these game winners like cool coach. Like, like hey, he didn't hit six for me. I already got a I, um, he probably had already when it was coming down to the time, he was like, look, I'm going I'm going to cool coach in this moment, cool coach in this moment. I'm gonna give him the rock. Like, but Pippen's like, he all salty. Like, bro, I understand that you feel like you the man on the team and you didn't get the rock this time. But you don't go sit on the bench, though, bro. Like, you don't just, man, I ain't, I ain't like, bro, I ain't, you know what, I ain't getting the ball, bro. That's some, that's like some real Paul mentality, bro. Like, true. take my ball, go home type mentality. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you, like true. When put up all his work for you all season, then you're going to, in the playoff game, you're going to get to that guy? Like, what, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's almost like you playing, playing like you playing football or something, and you probably been getting the rock all game. And then all of a sudden, you got a big play, and coach like, all right, man, we're going to go over here. You're going to go. Go throw it to this guy. And you like, what? Nah, bro, I'm exactly. going to check, man, I'm gonna check out the game right now. Like, nah, yeah. can't do that. Hey, he can't do that, but I feel him, man. I feel, I feel him. It's like, I'm like, yo, Phil. Quit on the team at that moment, man. He kind of gave up and quit on the team at that moment. But Phil gave up on him, though. Phil gave up on him at that moment. That's probably how he felt. He went asked him. He was like, hey, you, you know you're going in? And this no, 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 no. When he rolled up the play, that was like, he probably was like, yo, you going you gonna to give up on me right now? You know, he, he's supposed to be like, Phil supposed to be like, look, I don't. We didn't want three back to back with, with and you and you and you was one of those guys, right? Hey, we gonna we gonna live and die on your back right now, like, and we ain't gonna 
when we need you, I ain't going away from you. You, you, you the guy, you my guy, you know, you've been my guy before. I mean, you was part of the reason, a big part of the reason that we got these three. And hey, we're going to live and die on your shoulders, right? Hey, because you, hey, I'm going to ride with you because I know you've been, we've been riding together. So I ain't going to not ride with you now. We're going to ride. And if we, if we fall, hey, man. Got to go all in. Got to go all in. I fell on my dog. You know what I mean? I, I, I bet on you. Like, you the best player on the team. I bet on you. We've been through thick and thin. We've been through these Pistons, these, these, these Celtics. Uh, uh, you, know, you know, hey, man. Jerry Cross. What's his name? Cross. Yeah, Cross, yeah, they battle tested, man. And just and while you lead into that, like Jared Cross, bro, how are you gonna just destroy a dynasty, bro? Like let your how are you gonna let your ego destroy a dynasty, man? Like you the whole time you're trying to get rid of Pippen. First of all, he signs to the worst contract possibly I've ever heard of. You know, yeah. seven years, 18 million. Even though I'm pretty sure back then the money was different. And so he probably looking for that long-term security, but as your agent, you can't go to the go to the table and negotiate a seven year contract for for that amount of money, bro. Like, yeah, come on. I hope he, I hope he fired his agent. I hope he fired his agent after that. I know he had a couple. Of, he had a lot of issues with the family and all the other things that were going on with the family and stuff. So I understand he want to get his money, but you don't you don't negotiate a seven year contract. You like, hey man, let me get three years, five years, four years, something like that. And that range, three to five years. Let me get that type of range and get that money. He gets seven years, and then he outperformed the contract in three years. You're like, now I'm sitting with uh, four more years on the contract, and I'm the second best player on the team. We work, and we win the championship, and I ain't getting paid. He like, you don't know what? You ain't going to pay me? I ain't going to go get this surgery. How about that? Y'all, I, y'all. I, I ain't mad at him for that either. <laughs> I ain't mad at him for that either. I would have did the same thing. Like, y'all don't want to pay me? And you know how I perform? Hey, I'm only going to play half the season then. Hey, I'm Okay. Bro, he like, mm-hmm. yeah, man, how, how y'all just not going to pay me, bro? Like, we out here winning these ships, winning these chips, and you ain't going to pay me, bro? Like, what are you, what you talking about? What are we talking about? Hey, that boy Jay Cross, man, he know he hey, he wasn't getting that shine like Jordan was. Jordan come in with the with the bald head and Jordan, Jordan fours on, and he was like, hey, man, you know what I mean? Why 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 I can't come to the, to the juke joint with y'all after the game? You know what I mean? Why I can't go, why I can't go to the sugar shack with y'all? You know what I mean? I'm the reason why you niggas is here. Hey, hey he, he, he's like, look, man, I need something that's created, bro. Like, yeah, we we winning, <laughs> y'all winning, but I'm putting this thing together, bro. Like, I feel him though. I wouldn't have been like, I wouldn't have been out in the out in the public, like, look, man, the, the organization winning team. I wouldn't have been like that, but I've been like, look, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, I put this, I put this together. You know what I mean? Like, I might have not drafted Jordan, but I got you Scotty Pippen. I got you Horace Grant. You know what I'm saying? I got you some players. You know what I mean? I got you some talent right here. I put this together, bro. Like, you winning, but who putting this around you? What happened when we first, when you first got here? You weren't winning. Now you getting them, getting them knots put on your head. You know what I mean? Going to, going to sell this and you getting to Detroit and getting them knots put on his head. Yeah. But, I mean, it's like, what do you want, though? That's what my Jerry Cross, what did you want, bro? Like, you the GM. Look in the live line. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you want to let the go down and get in the layup line? Yeah, like, come on, man. You wanted to be out there like Drake in the layup line shooting the air ball just so you can get your shine? Come on, man. Like, you did your job, man. You was great at it. Look, look, look. Bro. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. What what more do you want? Like you said, man, that man wanted to put on. If Joe was 23, he wanted to put on 24. He'd be like, hey, pass me the rock. Like, bro, like, bro, you, you can't be, you tripping, bro. You can't just come out here and just break up a dynasty, bro. Like, these boy going for two and three at a time. And, and your team before before Jordan got that man, the soccer team or the, the other, whatever team was in the arena make, selling more tickets than the basketball team, man. Y'all, y'all weren't selling nothing. Y'all was nothing before Jordan got here. Then all of a sudden, Jordan come in here, start putting up them points. Two weeks in, he putting up that, putting that work in. They like, look, man, that's, that, that, that's the guy right there. And then all of a sudden, y'all kind of, you know, get, get on the roll, you know what I mean? Kind of start putting the Bulls franchise on the map. Y'all start winning these chips. And then here he go talking about, look, man, we can go here. We can go get Kuko. You know what I mean? We can go to Limit. You seen that guy right there? Oh, man. We can get Scotty up out of here. We can get Scotty. Because I, I heard a story with T-Mac we're talking about. You know, T-Mac basically said, you know, he didn't say it then, but he came out like when I, it was all said and done, T-Mac had made a statement that they would try to trade him on draft night for Scotty Pippen, that 97 draft. They tried to skate, try to trade him for Scotty Pippen. And Jordan called in and was like, look, nah, bro, we ain't, we ain't finna get rid of Scotty, man. Yeah. Like, like, why would you go get, why would you go and, and, and trade a rookie 
when you got a proven Scotty right now that's already winning rings with you, you you've been in the you've been in the in the fire with this guy. Y'all been he he battle tested. You gonna go get a rookie? You know, even though we ain't even you know we know who T Mac was after the fact, but you know being drafted, we didn't know who T Mac was gonna be. Man, hey, that boy Scotty would have been over there with BC though. He'd have been over there with BC though. <laughs> but uh, ah uh, yeah, that's the hey that boy man Jordan would have. Man, with T Mac, a young T Mac, nah, nah, T Mac wouldn't have been ready for that. Uh, for them Pistons, bro, he wouldn't have been ready for no Pistons, bro. T Mac like, wouldn't have been ready for uh Jordan. Oh, Joe would have ran that man off the court. <laughs> Jordan was like, hold up, hold on, bro, who was this little skinny dude? Like, man, yeah. that probably wouldn't have been T Mac because he'd be like, yo, I'm playing with Jordan, and then Jordan would have been dogging him, and he that might have that might have stunted his growth. I mean, yeah, you never know. You know yeah, because I mean? like you know what I'm saying, when you at the top like that, man, no disrespect to the to the rookies, but you just don't want to be playing with no rookie, bro. Cause when you go in, you try to get in the, get the chip, man. You need somebody with some experience when it comes like the regular season. Yeah, you can go and do what you gotta do the regular season, get your little lumps, you know, here and then the regular season. But when it comes to the playoff, man, I gotta be able to look at you be like, man, I know this guy can give me 20, 25 on a given night. I know he can give me 20. That's why that's hey, that's why the Brooklyn Nets ain't gonna do nothing, bro. And give me eight, ten rebounds if I need to, or give me a couple of assists or steal or I can count on him in a tight moment to make a bucket. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you go with a rookie. You don't know what he might freeze up. Man, he might get out there and be like old boy from Toronto. Uh, <laughs> what his name is? I forget his name. But, uh, yeah. Uh, um, forget his name. You know, the, the point guard for Larry. 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 You could be, yeah, who will? You could be Larry, man. You get out there and freeze up, man. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't need that. I'm trying to get these rings. My legacy on the line. Like, you know what I'm legacy. saying? Boy, man, you, you Jordan, you can't be you know, losing and trying to be the greatest of all time. You can't be trying to replace Magic and Bird as the greatest in the NBA and you losing the first and second round. Like, you got to go get them chips. Get them chips. That's why I'm like, these young boys, man, these young, they don't, they don't, man, these young boys don't, don't know. They ain't, like, if I was, like, man, I know we, we talking about the uh, dot, but if I was, you know, I just seen, I just see Cook in the background. And it made me think about that uh, documentary that's coming up about uh, where they from, him and KD and Beasley. Anyway, that boy KD left. I'd have never left uh, the Warriors. Come on, man. Like, you ain't, you trying, what you doing? You trying to get these chips or what? Like, you going to get paid. You going to get paid. You going to get your, you going to get your ducats. You, you know what I mean? Bro, you ain't getting, no, you ain't getting no chips in Brooklyn. I'm sorry, KD. You ain't getting them in Brooklyn. Hey, that boy, that boy got tired of Draymond, man. That's all that was, man. Like, hey, man. That boy like, look, man, I ain't trying to handle no more of that Draymond, man. This boy going to have to tussle. We're going to put these fisticuffs up, man. I ain't trying to go down with that, man. I'm, I, like, I'm so the, what you telling me is Draymond was bullying that boy? The best player on the team. And you treat me. <laughs> oh, like, come Hey, hey, hey. Next, next, next. Who, who the best player on the team? Me. Hey, the best player on the team. Come Find on. the two finals MVP. He come down. Come yeah. on, man. Two finals MVP. He's like. He the best player of the team. I give you, he supposed to have that first finals MVP he got. That second one was supposed to be us, Curry's. Curry was almost averaging a triple double in the finals. Force feed him in the last game to get the get the um get the ring get the I mean get the finals MVP. Come but on, bro. He he was giving buckets like the guy was unstoppable. He was giving Curry buckets. changed the NBA. Curry changed the NBA. I give him that. He changed it with the shot. You know he changed. KD it. ain't better. KD, he's a he might be a better scorer. But we don't even know that because KD better rebounder, better defender. Like what else you want? Better defender. Come on, Cur I mean, I mean, I mean, I, Curry ain't the best defender, but KD ain't either. He playing way better defense than Curry. Curry is not no on ball defender. They be took and hiding them every game. Come on, you can't you can't be the guy they hide and then turn around and be like, oh, he the best player on the team. Like you, you can't be that guy. You know they. You know KD wasn't uh saying, but he's better than Curry. He might not be the best defender in the world, but he's better than Curry. Man, I, I, that's a toss-up to me. Shots, rebounds. You know, Curry might get him in the steals because he, you know, he playing the passing lanes. But you know, for the most part, they can go tip a tat with buckets, and then KD can get on that block and he can he get on that block and score. But Curry really, you know, he's gonna have to come off picks, make them deep. Nah. He can he, he can dribble and get a shot. I'm not gonna say he can't get a shot, but KD can get his a lot more effective with a lot less help. You know what I'm saying? Like, True. He, he can he's go seven feet. Yeah, he can go post up and get on the block and kind of get his points or shoot the three, shoot the mid-range. Curry more or less coming off the picks, you know, driving down the floor, 
putting up the deep three, you know, things off ball rebounds and long rebounds. He can catch and shoot things like that. You know, he can handle the ball. I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna discredit him for that, but I'm just saying, like, I think KD just a all around better athlete than Curry. You know, what I mean Curry might have, have might have more to success than than KD has, you know, as far as like unanimous an MVP, stuff like that. Got a ring before That's Curry, but you know, um, before for KD, but you gotta think about when them boys went to the finals, they was a young team. When, when OKC Ooh. Kind of, they were a young team. You had Harden, Westbrook, hey. KD playing against a, a more experienced team with what was that? Bosch, uh, Wade, Braun, Udonis Haslam. Uh, Come on, man. Come how, on, man. That's no excuse. I feel, like, I feel like he had a better team than Dirk had when he beat them boys. But Dirk, Dirk, beat but Miami. Dirk, Dirk teams were more experienced. They had Sean Marion. They had uh, they had Sean Marion. Was was uh, was was. They uh, had Jet, right? They had Jet. Was Kid on that team? Was Kid on that team then? No, he was out. He's he no, no, no. He wasn't on that team. They had uh, Jason Terry, right? Jason Terry and uh, yeah, you got you know Jack, Steven Jack, not Steven Jackson. They had a. Uh, but but what, what, what I'm point is like that team was a little bit more experienced. You know what I mean? That team was more experienced than mm -hmm. what the OKC was. Them boys was them boys were young when the boys went to the when the boys went to the final man. The boys was the boys really young because hard at the point. Think about Harden was still coming off the bench then. We was wondering if Harden could. We were trying to hey, push to get Harden to be a starter. When mm -hmm. he, you know, what I'm saying before we knew who he actually who he was when he went to Houston, he kind of exploded. Imagine, right. if, imagine if you had that Harden during that time instead of him locking up and freezing up in the playoffs. Because think about it, think about those times he was locking. He's still locking up and freezing up in the playoffs. But just imagine, you know, what I'm saying. But imagine he had. Imagine if he was more experienced during that run. Than what he was coming off the bench. Like imagine if he was starting and you move rush to the two, put him at the one, and you got you got KD at the three slash four, the stretch four, something like that. And and then you playing those guys with experience, it'll be a different, it'll been a different finals. So I don't really hey. I don't really, you know, he lost that finals, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't like he wasn't just he was just a bomb out there. He just, no, 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 I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying huh, the boys are young. Hey, I, all I'm saying is that man, he has a talent. Oh, he might have the, he might be the best talent in the league, talent wise. But it's something to say about that mentality, man, and that and that and that brain of that that heart. And I say he don't have that heart, but it's just different. You know what I mean? I think Kobe said it right. Kobe said, "Are you the same?" What he call, what is it? The commercial? Are you just mm -hmm. are you the same beast or the different animal? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. KD might be a beast, but he might not have that animal side in him. Or vice versa, where I feel Curry got both of them. Like, hey man, I'm I. Hey. From Warrior team, they were deep too. You know what I mean? Like that team, them teams with them teams when they were going to the final, they were deep. You know, you got Iggy come out. There. Every finals team is deep. Come on, man. I'm not a lot of time because most of the time when you go to the final, you shorten you shorten your roster. You only play six, seven guys. You know what I'm saying? No, no, I'm saying, I'm saying, like look at those Spurs teams that was winning. They that Spurs team was deep. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that, that's a that's a. That's an elite team that built by Pop over a period of time. But a lot of the times when you playing in the finals, like you normally you have you're only playing six, seven guys. You know what I mean? You you playing your starters and you playing maybe the six man off the bench, maybe the seven. But you know, you don't really play eight, nine, ten. You don't really play those guys. Those guys is kind of like, you know, rah rah cheerleaders and you know what I'm saying for the finals. But when you come to you know, but most of the time when you have an established team like the Spurs, you can go eight deep. Or like the Warriors when they were deep, they can go eight, nine deep. So when you put your starters on the bench, your your backup units, they can go out there and, and keep a lead or right. grab a lead and push a lead up to seven to ten points. And then when your guys come back in, they can kind of put their foot on the neck and put their foot on the gas and just go ahead and close the game out. But when you have those teams that don't have that bench, you know, you go out the game, you up four, you come back, you down eight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then, okay, but okay, can you say the same thing though when KD and them had the boys down three one? He wasn't young then. Them boy, that was just a mental, that was just a mental lapse in them boys. Like I, I, I'm like I can't. I'm like, what are you doing? But when, you know, we were talking about it in the chat. We was, I was like, man, all you gotta do is just win one. You know, everybody like it's over. I'm like, man, you just gotta win one. If you win one, you could just change the whole momentum of the series because you put pressure back on the team to try to close you out. And then you go back home, and you know anything can happen once you once you kind of win a game. Anything can happen. And so I just yeah. boy, just had a mental lapse. And plus Westbrook was just shooting that thing, man. He was just boy, he was shooting. <laughs> He was shooting brick after brick. I'm, I'm talking about, we'll be, we'll, we in the chat talking like, bro, how you gonna come down the floor four times and not get a ball to the best shooter in the league at this? Yeah. How you not get a ball to this guy? Like, hey. like 
watch him like, hey man, gonna- why did KD get? Why did KD ask for the ball? Same thing with Draymond. He he didn't get the rocket. Like did he cry at the? Nah, don't cry. You supposed to go get the ball. You know what I mean? Like true. He was like, man, give me the ball, man, give me the ball. Westbrook like, look, bro, ball, my friend. I ain't got no friends on the court. <laughs> I'm finna go shoot that thing, man. I'm, I ain't got no fear, you know. Even though I, he he has no fear, but he come down. He just want to shoot. He, he just want to take a smart shot. He come down, dribble, 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 pull that thing up, break. They go back. Hey, the light skin boys got on. Light skin boys got on them heads. Clay Thompson was like, "Hey, let me show you, KD. You supposed to be. Let me show you how to do this thing." Perfect. Bah! That's bah! a storm. He he don't even have to dribble the ball. He just yep. pull. You know what I'm saying? Or come out the pick, pull, catch the rebound, pull. You know what I mean? So he don't even have to really dribble the ball or anything. Because you know? his ball handling, his ball handling skills are suspect. Yeah. Know? Oh, yeah. That's why yeah, you, you know. got guys like Curry who handle all, do all the dribbling. He come out the pick, you know what I mean, and pull up. He just got the, he just got a jumper. And you know, hey. with them two meshed together, it's just a, a deadly weapon. So Hey, 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 don't, hey don't, get it, don't, don't, don't sleep on my man Clay. Lockdown defender. Lockdown. You're a good on ball defender. I give it to him. You're a good on ball defender. And that's what and that's what they really need for them because Curry ain't gonna go lock down Damian Leonard or nobody like that or Westbrook. Come on, man. You 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 bring it up cats like who who gonna lock down day? Who's who who have you seen the lockdown day? But I'm saying you ain't necessarily gotta lock him down, but you ain't gonna even you ain't gonna hold him under his average. Like did, gonna hold did, him. Paul, did Paul George? He waved at Paul George. Hey, see you later. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Why that's why I think that back to my point, that's why I say I think KD overall is better than Kerr because he can't even he doesn't even guard his position. Like he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't guard his position. Like when it, when he, we already know the West is probably the most top heavy when it comes to point guards, night in and night out. Right. So why okay, let me ask you this then. So you got a shooting guard who's maybe the top three on ball defender in the league. Why would you put why would you not put him if if the if if the NBA is point guard heavy, you got he's only a shooting guard. Well, why would you not put Clay on on those guys? Or like like you say, you put him on Westbrook, on Harden, on Paul George, on Kawhi. On why would you? I mean, because he can't CP. Th- I mean, well, he was guarding Curry was guarding CP. One, he you can't stop him, and then two, it's just gonna tire him out because they're gonna wear him out. So what they do is they they move him off him, they move him off the top guy, put Clay on him, and just let him play the passing lane. So he'll get the steals, and then that boosts his stats as far as like uh, steals leader per for the season. So when it, when you look back on, he's like, oh man, he had all these steals, but you want it doesn't yeah. numbers that he wasn't playing the best. Of, he wasn't playing the, his. He wasn't guarding his position. So there was more. Clean, you, you, more there was yeah. More, so that's what I'm saying. That's why I think back to my point. What I was talking about. I think that's why I think uh, KD is an overall better player because he he'll guard his position. You know, what I mean, he, he can guard his position. He can guard multiple positions, whereas you know, Curry not gonna really do that. You know, he gonna he gonna he gonna guard. He, he'll guard your not your best strong. He'll he'll guard like Rajon Bell or something like. Does that. KD guard the best of, best offensive player though? He has to guard his. He has to guard his. Um. Well, okay, check this out. When he was playing with the Warriors, Draymond. He would. Hey, if 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 it was like the shooting guard and up, pretty much Draymond was on him. KD wasn't on him. Yeah, but you but you don't want but at the same time you don't want your you don't want your, your one of your best scores to be wore out when the fourth quarter comes. Like he will guard. It's not like he won't guard it. He he guards throughout the game, but in transition going up and down the floor, he might not guard mm-hmm. the, the, his position up and down the floor because you got all these guys playing out of position. It's a positionless game now. So you got oh, yeah. guys playing. Hey, th- hey, hey, th- thanks to who? Yeah, you know, it, the ball, the game just has evolved from away from the big man. That's all. It ain't just necessarily curry, it's just that the game itself has evolved away from big man. You got AAU. Where you got the kids who probably, you know, don't want to be on the block like Patrick Ewing. They want to shoot the ball. They want to score. And that's how they probably been taught. Like, hey, look, when you coming up AAU, you probably taught like, look, only way you're gonna get to the league, or you're gonna get these contracts, you're gonna get these scholarships, you gotta score. You know, the big man, True. you, you True. can't Andrew Bynum and go and score and nine. Bynum. You can't be no Bynum in, in high school scoring. What's up? White side? Yeah, you know, Hawaii side. You can't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the league ain't built like that no more. So those guys probably coming up like, hey, look, I'm shooting. I'm shooting just almost like uh, um, like Anthony Davis. He starts a point guard, then all of a sudden you shoot up. You shoot up. Mm-hmm. You you six, seven feet now. So, but you still got the ball handles and the shooting ability as a well, guard. What so, about Zion? But Zion, he's just a freak. He'll march. I told you that from the joke. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Zion might have changed that. You know what I'm saying? But he not he 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 one of those positionless guys too. Like he really ain't gonna just get on the block and just back you down and boom, boom, boom. He he more or less gonna catch you off. He's gonna catch you off the rim, 
catch you in transition, get the ball, make a quick move, go get in the, go get in the paint, yam yeah, that thing. Mm-hmm. But you know, so as far as like the league as a whole, the big man is pretty much irrelevant now because the big man don't want to really be a big man anymore. They want to be the guys who score the ball. So the floors open up. So guys like Curry come in and he shooting the ball. So he makes it a little bit easier for the Warriors and it make, makes it easy for the Warriors to score points and get the points up. So now everybody like like Houston Rockets, they're chasing the Warriors every year. They're like, oh, we got to chase the Warriors. We got we to beat the Warriors. So what you mm-hmm. do is you go and start drafting players to try to beat the Warriors. And next thing you know, you wrapped up in trying to beat them and you're not necessarily building your franchise like you think you should be building your franchise. So, you know, it, it's all about, you know, the league always be shifting because, you know, you go from the big man to, to the two guard. To you Thank know. you, Jordan. Thank you, Jordan. Like the league shift. <laughs> well, when, when, when Jordan came into the league, you had, you had, you had Magic Johnson, you got you had Kareem, you got... Uh, uh, but the big man was the guy, though. Bird, you got John Sally, you got Oakley, mm-hmm. you got Patrick Young, yeah. but all these, you know what I'm saying? You got, you know, I'd say Bar- Barkley one big man, but you got, you know, right. you got man's in the, yeah. league, in the league. Robert Parrish, Robert Parrish. Wayne Beer, you okay. know what I mean? You got, you know what I'm saying? You got players like that who really dominating the league with the big size. And then all of a sudden, it's, the league starts to, over years of progressing and transition away yeah. from and being I, big to smaller guys, faster, more, 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 uh, Athletic guys, because at the time those guys really wasn't that athletic. Those big guys really weren't that athletic. But now you got a seven foot guy like KD. He's athletic. He can put the ball on the floor. He can pull up. He can dunk. Shoot the three. So it hey. just change, just change, man. You know, and just coming from yes. those. You know, Draymond, defensive player of the year. You know what I mean? What was that? Two thousand seven, seventeen. Hey, hey cats be hating on Draymond, but you know Draymond that guy though. He, he hey, he my guy, man. You know, yeah. sacking off. Sack, what is that? Saginaw, Sackashaw, Michigan. Stand up for the guy, for the boy Draymond. What do you think about uh, Rodman? You think about how you think about how you feel about Rodman and the things he was going through back then. And you know they showing in the documentary, like you know that boy say, "Look, man, we doing all this, man. I need a break, bro. Like in the middle of the season, can you imagine? Yeah. Coming, you just say, man, I need a break. I need to, I need to get away for. And he's like, how long you need to wait, Scotty? Like, I don't know, man. You got Jordan. You got to tell him. Jordan, you got to go tell Jordan. Man, can you do 40 it out? Man, I'll take whatever I can get. Hey, Jordan, I mean, not Jordan, but Rodman, I don't, I don't, hey, Rodman was a different type of cat. Hey, Rodman didn't care. Rodman, like, hey, man, like you said, hey, I've been, we, I've been holding down Pippen, damn, man, take the whole, the whole half of the season off. You know, Pippen, Pippen wasn't even at the game. You know, that nigga was in Vegas a couple of times. Why, why I can't go to Vegas? Pippen, you know that boy was in Vegas a couple of times when he was rehabbing. Rodman was like, look, man, we about, to, we, we, we about to get this ring. Jordan, you know we about to get this ring. Let me, you know, but yeah, Rodman was a, Rodman, <laughs> Rodman was a different cat, but hey, Rodman was like Draymond, man, you need that dude. You gotta get somebody to do the dirty work. You gotta, you gotta have, you gotta have that guy on the team who's gonna do that dirty work for you, man. Like, cause if you don't get that guy who do dirty work, you know, when we go, go down there and get them rebounds, don't really care about scoring. He ain't really got that ego about that. He's like, look, man, I'm finna go down here and play some defense. I'm gonna get the rebound. That's all I want to do. Like, he, he went. He he went from the from from one some of the best, right? Yeah. Oakley to Grant to Rodman. That's what I'm saying. Like, you, know? you need them guy. You need them kind of guy. Why Jordan? Like, they're like, man, how you how you feel about we going to get Jordan? Let I me mean, go and get uh Rodman. Like, he he a winner. Like, go get him. As I was like, yeah, hey, I, I can play with him. Like, you want to win? Because he already knew how he was abusing him when he was in Detroit. You know, <laughs> abusing Jordan, bro. Like, ooh. Man, imagine how them boys just, like, just clotheslining, pushing them mm-hmm. out there, elbowing them, knocking them to the flow. Like, they, like John said, like, we physically tried to hurt Jordan. Like, you can imagine them, though, like, we physically tried to hurt Jordan. Like, don't let him take off. That's our whole thing. Don't let him do. Don't let him take off. So you you make what you think about that though. That's what oh. I oh that's 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 wild. That's that's dirty. That's almost a little dirty, bro. Like come on, man. So you think he should have been left off the Olympic team though? Nah, nah, I don't think he should have. I don't think he should have. He had the talent. And then you gotta think about it too, like yeah, John Stockton over him. Come on, man. But you, John Stockton was putting in work though, you know what I'm saying? He, oh, he, but Isaiah though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He he's a he could have Isaiah should have been on the team, but you gotta think about his coach, John Daly, was the coach. Like, unless you know how powerful Jordan was. Why your coach don't even stand up for you? Like, your coach don't even stand up for you? He probably did. Jordan was like, look, you want to be the coach of this? <laughs> That's what he probably looked at John. That, what's his name? Chuck, was it Chuck Daly? Sorry, Chuck Daly. 
Yeah, he he probably was like, "You want to be the coach of this team? Don't say nothing about Isaiah Ben." You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. Isaiah should have been because you if he's a point guard, right? You got to take one of those guys off. Ma- you gonna take Magic off? Nah. Start to gotta kick rocks because you know, like that. Hey, Joel was wrong for that. You know they uh, and you know he tried to put it in. Like, you know the other guys didn't have. Didn't like him either. Look, he got Larry Bird, Magic Johnson. Man, Larry Bird and Magic Johnson didn't say nothing like that. You like all those interviews they had, you know, those little cutaways to Magic, cutaways to Bird. Why ain't cutaway to Magic be like, yeah, I, I wasn't, I don't want to say there. None of them said that. But again, playing devil's advocate, you Jordan, y'all playing year in, year out, them boys physically abusing you trying to hurt you. You know they trying to hurt you. You grinding. You finally get on top. You win. And them boys just duck out on you like that, man. You like, huh? What? But you no, know, I, I don't think it was just the handshake, the, not the not the handshake to be like, oh, I don't like Isaiah. I think it was a lot more like maybe in the game Isaiah might was chirping or saying something or just, you know what I'm saying, being malicious to Jordan. And Jordan was like, look, man, I don't like this guy. And if I'm at the top of the game, if I don't really want to play with this guy and I, I got to go be two, three weeks with this guy, I don't like this guy. Why? Why I gotta play with him? Man, man, get John Stockton. Get John Stockton. Like that's, I'm, just, I'm just saying, playing devil advocate. He should have been. True. A, but just, just playing devil advocate. Be like, like, look, man, this guy, man, that guy dirty, man. I don't like this guy, man. Like, why? Why? I gotta go be. I gotta go. I gotta go be in another country for three weeks with this guy that I don't like. Dang. We gonna win. We gonna win anyway. I don't. Why? Why do I need? What I need him for? If he gonna, you know, and then plus they were saying that other people didn't really like him and stuff like that. All of the little stuff coming out, but you know, Jordan gonna get the brunt of it because you know they they had a um, a weird relationship. So I'm surprised. You know how good you got to be to have a guy that you don't like still do your documentary. Hey, yeah, what you got to be? Hey, Jordan, I tell you what though, Jordan was I like so you didn't like a dude that was doing what you was doing to your your guys in practice. You didn't like a dude doing that to you. So what you do, you whine behind closed doors and was like, yo, I don't want this dude on my team. Why? He only was doing the same thing you was doing to your 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 teammates, but he was doing it to you. You should respect that. You should respect that. They were hurting, they were hurting Jordan though, though. They were punishing Jordan. They were punishing Jordan. Hey, punish you heard what you heard what you heard what Barkley said when he said when they asked him about why did he punch Steve Kerr and he was calling Burrell a hoe and all that. He was like Jordan knew who to do that to. Jordan knew who to do that, who he could do that to. You knew who was, and that's the thing, you know, you know who saw So, at, at that time in Jordan's career, the piss is like, hey, we know this dude's soft. He's soft right now. And he said he had to go hit the weights. At that time, no, hey, Jordan, you soft, man. And, and we know by hitting him, throwing us to the ground, which was totally normal, right? Totally normal those times. We know by doing that. He was going to get in his head because he's soft. And look at him. He went through that. He became the GOAT. He should be thinking Isaiah Thomas and the boys, man. Yeah, he do. Stop crying. I got to thank the Pistons for that because I don't think we would have got that Jordan that we got had them Pistons not put them lumps on the boy. They were putting them lumps on him year in and year out, boy. He was like, man, I don't know if I can get past these Pistons, bro. These boys dirty, man. Them dirty, pistons. bro. Oh, dirty, bro. That nigga Vinny in the microwave looked like he was smoking cigarettes right before he ran out. You see his eyes? No, that nigga was smoking cigarettes. That nigga was like, bro, he probably he probably wasn't even smoking cigarettes. That nigga was smoking black and miles back then. Like, hey, that's what I'm saying, bro. We about, about to put this work on that. Them boy was drinking Miller lights. You know, yeah. Jordan, 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 he smoking cigars the whole entire season. The entire time he there, he smoking cigars. Like, dude, are you really gonna go put up 35, 40 points smoking cigars every day? Hey, that nigga was an athlete, man. Jordan was like, you see that man. That man, you see that man lifting weights a little bit after the Pistons put them, put them lumps on him. Yeah. But you, you hardly ever seen Jordan lifting weights. Jordan was an athlete. Jordan was like, they was like, he probably was, he was thinner than like. Yeah, yeah you know, he he hadn't got he he probably hadn't got that grown man body yet. Because think about it, he playing against guys like John Sally, uh, Beer Lamb Beer, them boys that they had they they had their grown man body because they was, they were older. They probably what, you think they were in their thirties. Think about what they had thirties. Yeah. They probably in thirties then. Right. So they had they grown man bodies playing against. Yeah. You know, 22, 
23, because Jordan, Jordan was three years in college, so about 23, 24, you know, he coming to the league. You know, because he, he wasn't old, but he, he was still young. But you playing against guys who in their 30s, and they – they old. They, they got they grown man body and feet. Grown. He play niggas. Look at that nigga Rick Mahorn. That nigga Rick Mahorn look like he do bare knuckle fights on the weekend and then come fight. I mean, then come play basketball. Come on, man. He don't man. Them niggas want no smoke with Rick Mahorn and the boys. Like, yeah, bro. I wouldn't even want nothing with Rick Mahorn right now. Like, Balling. come on, man. Or battling getting in that work, man. Getting aboard that work, man. Yeah, and Jordan talk has been nice, man. I've been like, it's it's good to see. Um, a lot of the stuff that was going on behind the scenes that we didn't get a chance to see back then. You know, I was a little bit younger, so, you know, when that, when it was actually happening, I was a little bit younger. I was, like, kind of getting into the sport, getting into basketball. Because, like, my oh, first, yeah, you were a youngster, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? My, my pops watched football, and I was a baseball guy. I really liked baseball when I grew, I grew up, you know what I'm saying? So when, when football, when basketball was really kind of peaking, you know, I was still kind of young. I was still kind of young, but, my you know, my pops watched it, and I watched it, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, not necessarily knowing the ins or out of the NBA and, you know, all the business side of it. Of course, you don't know that when you're young. You, you learn that as you get older and you continue to watch the sport. Because, like, I was more into football. I was just watching. I watched a lot of NFL, NFL, NFL. That's what my pops was on, you know what I'm saying? You kind of watch what you, you know what people yeah, around you yeah, watch. Yeah. So I watched college and I watched NBA. But my, my pops, like, he was a real big football guy. So he was just NFL. But, you know, he watched basketball, too, and watched the big, some of the big games. And I watched it. But just seeing that. That, that behind the scene footage, it's been nice, man. I wish they would do more of this, man, a lot more of that sort of behind the scenes and what was going on during those 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 good. Hey, times. don't worry about it, man. When, my, when our kids get older, man, they have one of the Warriors, man. Hey, down though, but the Warriors turned it down. They had the opportunity to to, uh, to do the camera thing, like uh, they turned it down. They didn't want it. They didn't want the camera. Oh yeah, they didn't, yeah, they didn't want the cameras around. That's probably that's probably good, man. Y'all welcome. Y'all probably wouldn't have got the Warriors. You know, them team of the decades, if you had the camera, they probably would have acted different. KD probably would have requested the trade in the middle of the damn season because the camera was there. Draymond would have called the nigga a bitch in, in, in front of the camera. I don't want that same you know? season exposed like that, man. And we like get that, get that little, oh, at the end of the season. Like, you don't want that. You don't want that on camera. Hey, man. So, hey, so, hey. So time to happen like that, man. Hey, we we'll take that. We ain't gonna go into how the NBA and how LeBron James snitched on that man, Draymond. To get that, to get to get that, and uh, you know what I mean. The the NBA spending Draymond on the, on on something that the refs didn't even stop. The refs didn't even call the tech during the game. They go back and say, "Hey, we suspend him." Come on, bro! Like the heard ref- finals, it's, it's unheard of. It's unheard of. It's definitely it's unheard of. Unheard of. You know, LeBron James, man. Hey, I, I respect LeBron James. I think he one of the goats. But LeBron James, to keep it one hundred. Uh, he 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 benefited from the NBA getting soft, but he's he's nice though. He's nice. He's he. They ranked him as number two. Nah, nah. I feel I don't like to argue with folks because you know how I feel. I think I think Kobe's just a better. I think Kobe's just better. But people are gonna point at LeBron numbers and strength and all exactly. that stuff, and they're gonna be like, oh. You know, saying he he got this, but I don't think people really take in consideration that Kobe didn't really play the first three years of his career. He was coming off the bench. He really didn't play the first three years of his career, and he really didn't play the last two or three years of his career. You know what I mean? Because he was hurt all the time coming out. He tore the Achilles, so he really wasn't playing. But in that right. time, when he was in that prime, bro, I'd take Kobe over anybody, bro. But no, beside Jordan, I'd take him over anybody outside of Jordan. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You know, but but people gonna look at Braun, they're gonna look at his numbers and, and saw what he did. They they're not really gonna look at those L's that he had, those chokes that he had. So, you know, that's why I don't even argue with LeBron fans and try to say, Oh, he this and he that, you know, they always gonna be like, Oh, he the go. I'm like, oh. Yeah, I don't that's what I don't understand to this day. It's like you guys not watching when it? did LeBron when did LeBron jump over Kobe? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, that's that's how I feel. I, you know, but they might just say that because I'm a fanatic, I'm a Kobe fanatic, so I feel but I'm like I watch the guys. I like I literally Watch both of them play. Like I watched both of them play in their prime, and I could seriously think Kobe was better in his prime. Like they're not gonna say, "Oh, but look, his 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 percentages was better at doing this. He made this." But I'm like, but when it was go time and you need to get that W, man, Kobe was gonna go get that W, bro. Like he was gonna go get it, bro. He like, man, I'm, I want it, I want it, but do I, but do I really want it? You know what we gonna do? All right, man. The Boston Celtics came through, put them lumps on him, had made made him quit. Yeah, ran him out of ran him out of Cleveland. 
from Cleveland. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm self just ran that boy out of Cleveland, ran in Miami. Then he ran out of Miami, got that lump put on his head one more time, right by the Mavs. Got, the lump, got, the lump, got, that, lump, got that lump put on his head. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I remember that stuff. You know, a lot of a lot of Braun fans, they, like, they try to dismiss that. And I'm like, oh, but he did get swept in the finals. I'm like, but he was young, though. I'm like, he got swept, though. So we he not got swept by the Warriors, too, didn't he? I think he did. He get swept. No, nah, he he might have got five. Yeah. But I think the last one he it was a. They got they got one. They got one game. I think they did get one game. Cause it was sweet. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I think I think Warriors got three. I think that last one with KD they swept. I want to say, but I had to look it up. But up that that last game, that first game one, it was up, and that's the game where J.R. Smith. Yeah. Uh, choked the yeah, game. He he hit J.R. Smith with the. With the hands, he doing like what you know? Yeah, so, but man, it's just you know the NBA man. It, it, it's fun to watch, and I'm, like I said, I, I don't, I don't know that they brought it back. Would it be the same? Like it'll be good to watch it, just because we we starving for some type of sports. Yeah, but to crown somebody a winner at the end of the season, it just it just feel tainted. Like it'll feel tainted. Like even if if the, if the Lakers won, I'd be like, oh, we won. Yeah, but it just won't. It won't feel the same. It feel the same. Yeah. Feel like you just went through that battle. Like, man, we went through 82 games. We went through the first, second conference finals. You know what I'm saying? Like, went to the finals and we battled yeah. for seven games. Like, it won't. It won't. You won't get that, that that justification at the end of the day when you when you getting them bragging rights. You can't be like, play your man. But that, that was a season of Corona. That was a Corona season championship. Right. Right. You know. I mean. Yeah. You know. Let hey. Let him, just just let them come back, go to the had a draft, and just come back. It's coming new. The Warriors will be healthy. I mean, come on, man. The NBA is better with the Warriors and the Lakers being good. You got LeBron James down there with AD. I mean, well, AD is a free agent, right? Like after the season. I wonder, like, how they gonna do all these if they really just say, "Or are, are we done with the season?" How they gonna do these contracts? Because you have a lot of these players like the Lakers. You know where Kawhi had held out. You know, held. I'm gonna say held out. Held the Lakers hostage before he come on. <laughs> he held the Lakers hostage while all the free agents got signed up. And then he's he decided he want to go to the Clippers, and now the Lakers scrambling to go get all these players. So he signed all these one year contract with these players. Like, and, and imagine like how's that around the league? How's it gonna affect around the league with these guys who are probably on one year contracts? Do they have to like just void the end of the contract, and then you got to go rebuild a team the next year, or like like what are they gonna do? Like. You know, that's what I want. How? What you think about it? I think, man, they probably should. Uh, the easiest thing, probably, if they, especially if they scrap the season, they free agents, free agents, and and let them go through the whole process of you know team trying to suit. I mean, yeah, suit them and all that, or um, and all all that other stuff. Um, so, man, they should let they should let it. Uh, they should just they just let the, uh, let 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 uh. AD, because AD go with it. Look, I feel like AD probably going to stay with the Lakers. He probably resign, especially after all this. Yeah, yeah. He'll probably resign and, and be like, you know what? At least, at least if we don't resign another, uh, a long term, he going to like, let's, let's run it back at least a year. Mm-hmm. Let's just outside another year. You know, maybe, maybe what, uh, uh, a two year with the second year option, right? Mm-hmm. With K, just like what KD did. Two year with a second year option. But that's, you know, AD will probably do that, but uh, yeah, they. I mean, I I think they should go with the same. You know, it's over. Let them go through the free agency process and uh, let uh, Giannis is on the way. You know what I mean? Guys, not coming to the Warriors, bro. Like, you need to get out that pipe dream, bro. Like the guys, not y'all gonna be, kind of be being before the guy. Why not? Wait, y'all gonna be in the luxury tax? Hey, man. Y'all yeah, gonna be mad over luxury tax, bro. Them boys ain't trying to. Them boys ain't trying to spend that money like they with that new stadium. Man, come on, hey, that's 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 a promise, man. The price of greatness is to have a great team. Pay the luxury. Hey, it, ain't, it ain't like Gruber and them ain't got the money. Yeah, they 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 bred it up. They because they're gonna be taking some investment, especially with this new Chase Stadium. They gotta get them people, get them get them them stadium, get them seats filled, man. That new stadium. Yeah, hey, man, they gotta get them seats filled. Yeah, hey, so going to get Giannis on the way. Nah, bro, he gonna get the max from he gonna get the max from Milwaukee. Like, why would you do that? Why would you like? Cause you he gonna get a chip. I don't, I don't think he look at it like that, man. He like, I think he look at it like, man, we coming out the East. 
and we 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 balling. We like number one. Like, why would I go jump ship when I'm coming out the East? Like it's the East is different in the NBA. But why would you? But the thing about it, why would you come out? Why would you go jump in the West where it's way more competitive right now when you can come out the East and be the top two, three C every year when you'll have a better chance of getting to the finals than having to go through the Lakers. The, the, you got to go through Lakers, you got to go through the Warriors. You got you to gotta go through all those teams, the, the Rockets. You got to go through all these teams in the West year in and year out when he already number one MVP in the East and he the man on the team. Like, that, it really don't make sense right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't even got to the finals yet. I said if he got to the finals, he got a head knocked in a couple. He ain't going to get to the finals, man. So, and you got – look, didn't didn't one of those – did Brogdon leave? Which one – one of those guys left, right? I forget which one that made the move. I forgot which one. Of them. But but they're going to retool, though. They're they going to still be able to retool. And the more he wins, the more money they're going to make. So they'll be able to go get free agents and stuff. Like, it's just hard on nobody want to go to Milwaukee. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, are you thinking they get better? Eric Bledsoe? Come on now. But I think the, you can go to – if Toronto can go make some moves and, and get Kawhi up there, man, Milwaukee can make some moves and get some players. Like, they're not going to – they got to they gotta draft well. And they got to go and scout well. That's what they got. Teams like they got. To Everybody play. locked up though. Who ain't locked up? Like you got you got Paul George locked up, Kawhi locked up, um, Embiid, um, Simmons. Uh, but Kawhi, everybody, AD probably gonna get locked up. But Kawhi just showed you that you don't need to have like all these, you know, A level talent. Play. Come on, Frank. I know. Come on, Nitty. So so you telling me, at a. One question. I try my bad. I try to cut you off. One question. If the Warriors was healthy, who would have won that 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 finals? In different finals had they been healthy, yes, but you know they weren't. So you know I'm just taking it for right. I'm taking it for what it is. Like I'm just taking it for what it is. I'm just saying like I'm sure they got they got talent there, and I'm not saying that they they won't eventually get more talent. I'm just saying like he showed you that you don't necessarily have to have all this A level talent, and then you still don't win when you can have A level. You can have a couple A level talent. And you can have a couple of B's and fill out the roster with some good C's. And, oh yeah, and you can you know what I'm saying not necessarily the Warriors not, might not necessarily make it out every year. You might it's all about the matchup. Like Warriors might get caught in a bad matchup. Somebody get come hurt. on now. You know what I'm saying? Somebody get hurt, and, and you know what I'm saying things change. So it's all about how you fill out your roster. Like saying for I'm saying for a team like that, for a team in Milwaukee, you got to fill it out. You might you're not gonna get all the top free agents. So you got to trade. You got to make. You got to um, trade. Right, yeah. To develop players. That's what I'm saying. So you get a couple of A-level players, or, and then you draft a good player. He turned to a, from a C to a B, and you have a couple of Bs and Cs that come in, like Steve Kerr's and the players like that. And that's how you, you know, excel to the next level because you're not gonna get, you're not gonna get no KD, you're not gonna get no Kyrie, you're not gonna get no James Harden, you're not gonna. But get, but, but how old is how old is Giannis? He how young. old is Giannis? No, he's like 25, 26 or something like that. He's still young. Okay. Yeah, he still got some time then. Like he like yeah. I don't think I don't see him just giving up that fast and then let me go jump ship and be the third guy on the team. Like third four. He'll be the fourth wheel. You know what I'm saying? Like in popularity, he'll probably be the fourth wheel because he'll probably be behind Trademark, even though he'll be better than Trademark. But he'll definitely be behind Curry. He'll be behind Curry. He'll be behind Clay. And he'll be the third wheel. You go from the number one option to the third option. And you already know he can't shoot. So he'll definitely be the third option. He'll just be getting the ball in the paint. On the move, versus. But, 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 but want to be, want that be great for his, his how he play. He like to run the floor. So you got these guys that's gonna spread the floor for maybe the 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 best wait, dr- slasher in the league. The ring won't mean it won't it won't weigh the same. You know what I'm saying? If he will in Milwaukee or somewhere else versus going jumping on a ready made team that's already then one got establishment. They got great players. They got you know what I'm saying. They got the players. Come who, on, why is it like that? Nobody said that for Rodman. Nobody said that for Rodman going to jump on the Bulls. Rodman was never a number one option. And then he was in the Spurs. He, was, he wasn't even just he <laughs> the Rodman when he was with the Spurs. So he had already kind of, y'all won't say he fell off, but he wasn't the Rodman that he was the Rodman when he was with Detroit Piston. He wasn't, okay, what about your boy Brown then? You know how I feel about Brown. I always tell, I told you, you know how I feel. <laughs> I'm not the biggest Brown fan. You know, I've always. That man wouldn't have ran back over there with D-Wade to them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know I'm not the biggest Braun fan. Like, I respect him for what – I respect his game and what he's doing, what he do off the court. But, you know, some of the moves he's made and some of the way – some of the things has kind of played out, you know, I've, you know, I've always – you know I mean? You know, I've always – Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, y'all call him great times, man. Go, I'm like, this guy's not the GOAT. Like, y'all, y'all all over me. <laughs> My nigga about the guy being the GOAT. Now y'all see him. I'm like, man, this guy's not the GOAT. You know what I'm saying? Hey. He came onto the team. It's like, oh, it's like, oh, how can you – 
how do you be pulling for him? I'm like, no, I'm not pulling for him, but I'm pulling for my team. I want my right, team. Right, yeah. I want yeah. when you know what I'm saying? He's a part of the team, so I got to be like, okay. I, you know, I messaged y'all about that because when y'all say about KD, I'll be like, hey, man, he came to my squad. I ain't saying the move he did was. Yeah, he going to tear up. That's what he do. He go to your team. He tap mm-hmm. your numbers. You tap out. You, you get rid of all your draft picks. You're going to be a hurricane. You might win. But when he, he, you're going to be in the drought for another, you're going to be in a drought for five or seven years or 10 year decade, you know, where we was already in a drought. So it wasn't like we weren't used to it. Like, we, right. I, well, I'm going to say we got used to it, but, you know what I'm saying, it became like a norm when Kobe left. It's like, all right, Kobe left. We're not making the playoff. We're not, we get close. We got we to gotta try to build. But we're not no build from the ground franchise. We're not that. Draft. We not no drafters. I I know that about us. Like we ain't drafting no players to go and develop them, become stars. Yeah. That ain't that ain't. So let me ask you this then. Let me ask you this then. As a Laker guy, would you do it again? Would you Would you keep Ingram, Lonzo, those guys? Because you I had a young core that had promise, right? That showed some promise. We never know, right? You had a, you had you had Lonzo, B Ingram, um, Kyle, uh, uh, Josh Hart. You know, you had some. You had some. You had Randall. I forgot you had Randall too. You had some pieces, man. But would you do it again? Would you ship those guys away to get LeBron? For to get AD, you know. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, to get AD. I'm sorry. Uh yeah, I think I'd get rid of for AD. I think I would, bro, for AD, because AD mm-hmm. gonna bring AD gonna bring other athletes that want to play with him. Like, okay, but is he I'm LA? Sorry. Is he Laker material? Who? See, see when he? remember y'all went from Magic. To what? Then Shaq and them, and Shaq and then Kobe. Kobe yeah. was LA material. They was Laker. Is AD that though? But you you get that mentality. You down in you down in New Orleans. You've been losing for so long. It take a minute to shake that off, bro. You can't just go from down there barely making the playoff, getting put out in the first round, not even playing. Then you know you always be hurt all the time. So you go from that. To then, obviously, you get thrusted into the league. You playing next to LeBron, where you expected to win. Now look like, look, you got to win that. You got pieces. You got to win that. And you got that purple and gold on. Now, 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 and so I think with a player like that, you know, other players will want to come with it. Because think about it, we try to get Lamarcus Aldridge, and we couldn't even close that deal. I'm like, bro, you can't close Lamarcus Aldridge. You know what I'm saying? He coming out of the court. You can't close Lamarcus Aldridge. Y'all don't. He y'all dropped the ball the first time. He gave y'all another shot. He dropped y'all dropped the ball again. You know what I'm saying? Like you dropping the ball on Kawhi. You drop the ball on Paul George. It's like, bro, y'all just dropping the ball. Like, imagine y'all dropping the ball. So you're like, all right, so what are we going to do? We're going to go trade these three players, these potential pieces. But, you know, yeah. think about what, um, you know, all the hype came in with with uh, with Ball, Alonzo, with Zoe. But he always was hurt. He he missed – he literally missed more games than he played with the Lakers. Like, he'll flash, give you a triple-double game, you know what I'm saying, then he'll go give you three points the next game. You know what I'm saying? And then he'd be hurt for two weeks. But he was, what, how, how many, what, he was, y'all traded him on the, his third year? Yeah, his third year. yeah, some, it was second or third year, that's what I'm saying, like, you, you gave him, you gave him, you gave him a little time, like, he would give Come you on, a, man, it took that boy Steph at least, what, five, six, uh, four? But you, but you, it's not like you playing in Detroit or you playing in, in, in Phoenix where we're going to give you a chance to develop, like, nah, you in Lakerland, like, we, we trying to win, like, you know what I'm saying, we're coming from an organization where we're trying to win, like, True. I, I feel what you're saying. We was in Phoenix, so we was in Memphis. We were like, all right, man, we're going to let you cook. We're going we gonna to let you cook for five. Yeah. We're going to let you do your thing. You're going to be hurt. You're going to play. You're going to cook. But in L.A., it's like, look, man, we didn't went through this enough, bro. Like, we tired of this. Like, we we a winning franchise, bro. Hey, we see David the, Stern we stopped see, y'all, man. RP. Yeah, man, we see the Celtics over there doing their thing. We trying to get these chips, bro. Like, what we need to do? David Stern came in, shut us down. Like, hey, man, we got to talk. We got Chris Paul. He on the way. Uh, Breaking news. He come Chris Paul. 10, 20 minutes later. What? He ain't coming. I was looking. I'm like, what? Hey, y'all should think. Y'all should think David. Think, uh, think David Stern. Y'all don't want that, man. That man always hurt. It would extended. It would extended Kobe another couple of years. They would have gave Kobe a little bit break because he was playing. Bro, he wasn't playing with nobody when he came down. He was like, all right, man, we're gonna give you your boy Smooth. Come on, bro, <laughs> bro, Smooth Parker for real. Smush. Come on, man, man, Smush. name is Smooth Parker. The guy with <laughs> Kobe the ball, bro. Huh? You want to even Kobe the ball? Hey, Jordan. Hey, he was listening to Jordan. Jordan said that little that little young Laker boy. Hey, I wasn't even passing the ball. 
See what I'm saying? <laughs> know what I'm saying? Like, so it was like, look, man, we got we got to get some talent in here. We got to get some players around that will possibly want to come. Like, you get a KD, and I mean, say so you get you get an AD, and then you might get a a Bradley Bill who might want to sign with a contract up. You know what I'm saying? He might he might be like, look, I I thought that last year to go over here with AD, Braun. And, uh, and go here with AD and Braun. I might and opt out my last contract, my last year of my contract. I might for I might forego thirty million. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You know, you leave thirty million on the table. Which comes to Lakers, like, look, man, we'll give you the twenty, and we'll give you some endorsements to get, make up the other ten for you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Then we'll sign you back in the summer for right. blah blah blah. You know what I'm saying? Like structure some deal like that. That's how you get. That's how you. That's how you build it. You know what I'm saying? You get some talent mm-hmm. there. You get other players that want to come with. You know what I'm saying? They get in free agent. They be like, "Look, do you want to go to New York or do you want to go to LA?" Hey, we want to go to the A. Hey. We finna go down. To LA. We finna go get deep palm tree, man. We finna go. Get, hey, they get that good weather, man. We go up here, we'll be three degrees six months out of the year. I'm like, nah, bro. I'm finna go on over here to LA. We finna go here. We finna chase some titles. So hey. you know what I'm saying? I, I do it. Like they were showing some promise. Like you know, like Kyle Kuzma, he definitely took a step back because. That third, that third option, bro. That's hard, bro. That third hey, option. Kyle, Kyle ain't that. Uh, man, yeah. He, that third, third option, bro. It's hard to be that third option, man. He better turn to a Draymond. Just defend. He ain't no defender. I watched the guy in real life, bro. The guy's a. He's atrocious on defense, bro. Like yeah, I be man. like, bro, are you gonna even try to guard this guy? I'm like, he get. <laughs> Of you, bro, and dude, just like do one move to, between the legs, cross over, and he gone right by him. Like he just like looking, like looking at him. Like, bro, what are you doing? Hey, man, he he thinking he gonna get the help from KD. I mean, not KD, but AD on the back end. You know, AD gonna be back. Look at that boy right there. I'm sorry, that man Curry was coming. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you get AD on the back end. But you know, LeBron going to set that president, man, because that man. I mean, I know he in what he going into year what, what? seventeen or eighteen. 17, 18, something like that. He almost hit that 20 year mark. So yeah, it's gonna, he he got about one 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 two more left in that in that tank. You gotta think about it, he was off in the last season and then he about to be off in this season. So that might give him another two years, you know what I'm saying? Still playing not just yeah. at that peak level, but still give you, you know, 22, 25, something like that. You know, mm-hmm. but, you know. Y'all, got, y'all got a little bit, man. Y'all got a little bit, man, to get that ring. Well, yeah. LeBron, because hey man, it's gonna be tough for y'all. Because my boy is coming back. My boy is coming back. We're gonna take them boys a minute. Because y'all got to think about it, man. Y'all team got busted up too. Them boys, them team Iggy gone. Uh, uh, what's the what's the guy uh, towards ACL the one year but came off the bench for you guys? Forget his name. Uh, Light skin guy. Oh, I forget his name. He towards ACL. Well, he, he tore. He, I think he, he tore his knee up early in his career, but he can't come off the bench. He come off the oh, Livingston. Yeah, Livingston. Yeah. yeah. Off the bench, you got Cook coming off the bench. You know, what I'm saying you got guys, you deep on that bench, man. But now you don't know who on that bench. You got a bunch. Oh, of we got them young boys. The rookie Pascal, Pascal, nice. We got a uh, pool. Boys ain't ready in the playoff, man. We still got Lou. Them boys ain't. Them boys ain't gonna be ready like that in the playoff, man. Hey, they, ain't, hey. they ain't them dogs like Iggy and Livingston. Them boys, you know, what I'm saying when they go. Oh, nah. When, they need, they need to. when Curry and Clay go to the bench, they can hold the lead. You know what I'm saying? They can hold the lead. You know what I'm saying? Them young boy getting that man. Clay and them go to the bench, man. They be like, hey, they can't go. We just get a sip of water. Got to go right back in there, man. Nah, nah, nah. Hey, hey, Curry know what he's doing? Come on, hey, hey, come on. Get back in here. Get back in here, <laughs> man. The lead go from go from seven to go down from seven to two in 30, in like a half a minute and a half. Look, man, y'all got to get back in here, man. You know what I'm saying? Nah, we Hey, we hey, it might happen, but you know, when we get Giannis though. Man, you keep talking about that. Man ain't going nowhere, bro. We might, look, look, okay, let me see. We if we don't get Giannis, we're gonna get somebody big. Yeah, somebody I mean, big. The package up that, that that first round draft pick that y'all skirt away from from the Nets. The Nets just be giving up all they picks. I don't know why, bro. They just they want KD, man. Yeah, they gave up all. So y'all might be able to package something together that first round. They might get the number one overall pick. I ain't gonna, ain't no probably. They might get it, but because they got the probably had the worst league, worst record in the league, probably. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they probably package that up and throw in another, you know, second round pick and something like that, and make them package it up and get somebody to come on over there. But they are gonna have to fall in line. Oh like, yeah. Third, fourth option. You know what I'm saying? Y'all had, y'all had uh, uh, uh what's the boy name? Russell. 
Yeah, y'all like, nah, we gotta get him out of here. We out of here. Yeah. And we got Wiggins. Wiggins gonna fall in line, bro. If you, oh, I forgot you, like, bro. Wiggins is not it, bro. When it, Wiggins can give us, Wiggins can give us fifteen to eighteen easy, bro. When they get, when that pressure get turned up, bro, Wiggins gonna go like, Wiggins go like this. Nah, man. Hey, that boy gonna tuck his head in that shell, man. That boy, that, that shell that you gonna be looking for a little head gonna be going there like <laughs> that boy head gonna be going in that shell. Hey, Wiggins gonna give us. 18 easy. So you got yeah on 25 to 30 from Curry. Night in December, yeah. Give you 18 on Tuesday night in December. We Come need on. what are you gonna do when it's June when you need them 18? He's gonna be giving you two points, one rebound. Yeah. Like bro ain't gonna do nothing. That he's look, he he's our Over. you know what I mean? Lack for lack of better word, I ain't trying to, you know, because it's gonna sound bad. He's our poor man's KD. Nah, that ain't even close, bro. Bro, that man averaging last year, he was averaging like 22, 23. Yeah, because he's playing with trash, bro. Like, that boy, that, that guy is not the guy. He's not, he he's over- playing with a cat and all them. Overrated, bro. That's over- when he get, it's when he can, he can shoot the ball 20 times a game. You know what I'm saying? Like, he going to get nine shots with the Warriors. He going <laughs> to catch them off, gotta catch them off the rim. He going to get nine <laughs> shots. He going to average nine games. Man, that's what y'all was saying with KD, though. Oh, ain't enough ball to go around. Ain't enough. You know, but KD, but KD, um, he can get his own shot. KD can, KD can. Wiggins can? Not like KD, bro. Come on. No, 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 no. Not like KD. I'm not. No, I'm not saying that at all. Definitely not. But I'm saying, when you got guys like Curry and Clay out there, Wiggins could definitely get his own shot. Cause ain't nobody double doubling off doubling off one of those guys to help help out on Wiggins. He'll come off a pick, bro, and give you two, give you four, six. <laughs> he ain't getting you no know, 18, bro. Not when Curry was shooting 19 and, and Clay shooting 16 and, and uh backpack Dre gonna shoot, he gonna get his seven. Come on, man. Why you be disrespecting my man Dre? <laughs> backpack Dre gonna get his seven, eight bucks, get seven, eight shot. That boy gonna hit, he gonna get five to six shots a game, bro. Nine at the most. He not putting up no 18 points. Hey, that's why Curry's that guy. Cause you know, Curry, he can be like, look, y'all get going. I'm 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 flame on. Yeah. Hey, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna get my shots, man. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, bro. I appreciate you coming on, man. I appreciate you checking, you know, stopping by. We're gonna continue to do yes, this in the future, man. I just wanna when these next couple of episodes of the doc come out, we're gonna you know circle back, talk about it again, make maybe maybe throw a bonus episode in or something like that. So I appreciate you, man, and joining. Yes, and sir, appreciate you having me. Continue to um do great things in the Bay Area, man. Keep being great, bro. And uh, see you see you when I see you, homie. Yes, sir. Appreciate you having me, man. Hey, keep doing your podcast, man. I'm loving it, man. For sure. Hey. Uh, you want to plug anything or you want to put your IG or anything out there, man? What you got going on before we look for a log off? Uh, I got a couple of things ready to go uh, jump off, but it ain't ready, so I, I don't want to uh, put it out right now. For sure. It should be ready. Appreciate uh, giving me a chance. Give me, give me your tag. Give me your, uh, your Instagram and all that good stuff. Instagram is William underscore Walls 14 on Instagram. Same on Twitter. You know, uh-huh. hit your boy up. You know, ask me anything, anything Bay Area, anything sports. Hey, holla at your boy, though. Appreciate sure. you having me, man. For sure, big man. It's your boy, Frank Needham, signing off. Peace.